Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a student fee record with automated progress bar and eligibility for exam in Google Sheet. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful automated sheet wherein you can capture the record for the students and you can see the total as the balance fee also. And we are showing the progress bar here. You can see we have received 85% fee and rest is remaining. Here we have roll number, student name, father's name, class and monthly fee. And then we have the 12 month and is starting from April. However, you can take it from Jan also as you want. And then we are showing here the assignment and project status also as well as we have some formulas to get the number of months wherein fee is paid and the remaining month for the fee and the eligibility for the exam. Now I will show you how we can create this step by step. So what I will do, I will create a new sheet here and on sheet 2 I will show you from the starting. So here we have taken the data from row number 8 so what I will do I'll just copy the same data and I'll come to this one and from the row number 2 we will leave column A as it is and we will paste it from column B on row number 8 so I'm just pasting it as a value shift control and V and now just reduce the column width of the column A and then on the top we can create some header so we will use some background color here but before that let me complete the data first so I will use here month name so let's say I'm starting the session from April and then we can just pick it and drag it to the right side so we have come April till March the whole year 12 months now press control and space to select all columns and then just reduce the width of the column and assignment and project and let us take here the paid month remaining month and then exam eligibility okay now we will quickly format this so just select the header and this area we will take this blue color and font take white make this bold and the font name we will take this area rounded make it smaller similarly here in this area we will take this green color and font white again take area around it make it smaller and for these two we can take the font color let's say this color font white make it smaller and area around it for this area these will be the formulas area so I'll take let's say this color again and uh, again take the white area around it all right let's select the whole data here and align this center and middle okay now make this column slightly smaller and here we will select this area wherein we have the months and then we will go to the insert and we will insert the check boxes now reduce the font size for the check boxes take around 9 or 8 so i'm taking 9 the font color also so I will take let's say this green color all right now I will select these two column and I will insert the check boxes again font 9 and color I will take this red color okay Now if I check then you can see it is looking like this and similarly here also we can check. 
now we will use the formula to get the paid month so i will use here count if and select this range of the month comma we will count only true close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here two if i will check more then you can see we are getting more for the remaining month either we can use 12 minus the paid month or we can use again count if this one and again use the count if and select this range again and use here false this time and just enter so we can fill down this formula and for the exam eligibility we have to make sure this paid month should be equal to 12 then only it will be eligible else not eligible close the bracket and hit the enter we can fill down this formula now if i check whole months then you can see it is eligible okay and we can copy this let's say here then they are eligible okay so this is working now we will create the top section also so on the row number two we will create our title so just select from b2w and use merge cells and you can fill here let's say this color and font white take here arial rounded and increase the size here you can put the title like automated fee record align this center okay so now here we can select these all cells and we can go to the select merge type and here we can merge horizontally and let's take here number of students then we can take the paid fee or we can take the total fee then paid fee and here we can take the balance all right so number of student you can use the count a function and you can count from the student name till the end and just get the count here automatically for total fee use sum of and select this record this one and just multiply it by 12 because this is monthly fee okay so that is total fee for paid fee we can use the sum product formula also and we can select the monthly fee here comma and the array 2 we can select the paid month just close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting the paid fee also and for the balance you can use the total fee minus this one paid fee so we are getting here balance also now you can just select this range and go to the borders and let's take this gray color and all borders go to the view and so uncheck the grid lines and select this range also and border and give the same color border here also all right now here we will show the progress fee progress just merge this so here okay fee progress align this center and middle you can fill some color here if you want and now select these two cells and use merge cells and we will use the formula here the paid fee received fee basically divide by total fee 
so we are getting here the percentage and just convert this into the percentage format align this center and middle make it bigger and bold okay so this is the amount of the percentage we have received now let's select these all cells and merge and here we will use the spark line use the spark line function data we will select this one comma then we will use here curly bracket and in the inverted comma put chart type close the inverted comma comma just use here bar and put the semicolon then use inverted comma put here max comma put here one or hundred percent and just close the curly bracket then close the main bracket and just hit the enter so we are getting this progress bar here if i will check then you can see it is getting increase all right friends now here you can select this range the whole range and just use merge and center you can put here the name of your school like abc public school now you can align this center and middle take the size around 30 and uh, here font you can take let's say this impact and make it make more bigger now we can select this range the whole range till here and we can put some border and we can use some border let's say the same color and for this range you can use merge cells and here also and here also Alright friends, so this is ready. That is how you can create this automated fee record for the student with the eligibility of the exam. You can see here that is working. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.